Well, there's been a surge in voter engagement since President Biden dropped out of the race. The nonpartisan voter registration platform Vote.org saw a 700 percent increase in signups in the 48 hours after Biden's announcement. As Vice President Harris's campaign takes off, the Trump campaign is trying to stop her from using the money raised when Biden was in the race. National correspondent Audrey Elmishar reports from Washington, D.C. The 2024 presidential election is transforming at breakneck speed, and now the Trump campaign is crying foul. On Tuesday night, it filed a complaint with the Federal Election Commission in an attempt to block Vice President Harris from accessing more than $91 million raised by the Biden-Harris campaign when the president was still in the race claiming it's an illegal contribution from one candidate to another. However, the Republican former chairman of the FEC, Trevor Potter, says a crucial detail is that Harris's name was already on the campaign account. Because Biden and Harris share a campaign committee, the vice president and her running mate can continue using the campaign's existing funds for the general election if she is on the Democratic ticket as either the presidential or vice presidential nominee. If the new ticket does not include Vice President Harris, the rules are different. Experts across the board say if the FEC found a violation, it's highly unlikely they'd be able to take enforcement action before November. In the meantime, that $91 million pales in comparison to what's been raised since the president dropped out. I'm keep the Harris campaign reports it brought in more than $100 million in less than 48 hours after Biden left the race. And Future Forward, the largest political action committee to support Biden, says it got $150 million in commitments within 24 hours. We have people to talk to, we have phone calls to make, and we have an election to win. The Trump campaign, on the other hand, had more than $128 million on hand at the end of June, according to FEC filings. We will press forward, and together we will win, win, win. At the end of this month, each campaign will have to report to the FEC what they've raised. In fundraising emails, the Harris campaign reminds everyone will be watching the press, Trump's team, and Democrats across the country. And Trump's campaign pleads, we must keep pace. In Washington, I'm Atrel Nishar reporting. I'm K2 Steve Dunn. For more content like this, like this video and click to subscribe to K2's YouTube channel. And on election night, November 5th, stay tuned right here for live 2024 election results and coverage starting at 8 p.m.